So we should like to use the DALI number two to create some UX UI designs inside the DALI number two. I'm going to be showing you step by step how we can do this. So first of all, we wanted to see what is the actual difference between the UX and the UI. So both of them are for the actual design of our actual application. But speaking about only the UX, this is only focusing into the interaction design, all the wireframes, all the information architecture, all the user research, the scenarios, everything has to be related into the interaction. If you want to talk about the actual UI, this one specifies for visual design. So everything about the colors, the graph, the, the, the graphic design, the layout, the typography, everything that you see there, speaking about the actual visual design into your app has to do with the actual UI. Now that we know the actual difference, how we can use DALI number two to get started. So the very first thing you want to do is to go into the DALI or go into the labs.openar.com. And here, what you wanted to do is to get started creating something based from a text description into an artificial intelligence image. So how does this actually works and how does this can actually help us to get started with an actual UI design of an application. So let me explain something really quick. Let's say that here, what I want to do is to start with a detailed description. Let's go with something like I wanted to have a 3D render for a UI design. Coma, I'm going to go for high quality or 4K and rate resolution here to generate. So this is what we wanted to use to get started. For example, I have a Kansas Sodi example for a UI test site. So I can use this element to implement that into my application if I wanted to create something related to some Sodi examples and all that. So all your skills, right? So uh, then what you want to do is to try to find an application where you wanted to get started with the actual creation of your actual app. In my case, I use Figma. Now Figma is truly for free and here to get started, we have to create an account. It's going to be really, really easy. And once you're here into Figma, you can start to explore some templates. If you don't know how to actually get started, you can try to look out for some templates. And then with that being said, you can use those templates to get started. For example, I can go into explore Fig uh, jam templates, go into the CO and here I have lots of stuff. Let's say that I wanted to look out for see more into the community. I open this new tab and here I want to look out for some, I'm going to close this one, mobile only. So I want to choose out for some applications. And here it says paid and free, look out for only free as you are creating your own custom application. For example, I have just to choose this one. Okay, this one says sleep sounds, exclusive sounds, relax sounds. Uh, so what I wanted to do is to use these elements so I can start to design my own custom stuff. Let's say, for example, here, I wanted to add the design that was generated from us, for us, actually, speaking about DALI number two. So I choose the one that fits for me the best. Let's say, for example, this one. And I'm going to hit into edit. So why I wanted to use the edit because I wanted to see the actual full element and then later I wanted to delete the background. So I'm going to go here. It says add generation frame. I want to just add a generation frame here, here in this part. So I'm going to choose this option and here I want to use exactly the same um, title choosing to generate. And this one is going to be filling up this part where I can just use the full. So though, now that I have my design, let's go and choose the best one. I can do accept. So what I want to do is to actually just delete the background. In my case, I use Canva because Canva has this feature of Canva Pro. So that's the reason why I choose that option. And then later, once I do have this one added, let's go and look for this. Edit the photo, background remover. And the elements that are into the background should be now removed as we are speaking. If you want to use the magic eraser as well, you can do that. So just select the elements that I don't want it to see. And then later I want to go here. I want to go into these three dots, go into the file. Let's go into place and image. And I want to choose the image that we could just downloaded. So that I'm going to make this a little bit more smaller like this. And there we go. So lastly, since this is just a symbol and I don't want to, let's say that I wanted to add just a symbol, let's say like an ellipse here and boom, there we go. This is my actual logo added in here. So now what I wanted to do is to, let's say, import my actual title here and I'm going to go with the name of my application. So let's go for Zodiac uh, Reader 
rather something like that. I don't know. If this is just an example, of course. So here I want to change the actual text for something a little bit more catchier. So this is how we can start to design the actual UI designer here into the actual Figma. But we use the implementation of the actual tally number two. So based on this actual stuff, we can start to save the actual collection and we can start to look out for more and more ideas. So here I want to go into the DALI, for example, here I want to look out for more impressionist stuff. So I want to import here an actual image that I have just created um, back then. So I'm going to go into place image. I'm going to show you something that was generated for DALI from the actual DALI number two and it's actually looking really but really really great. Take a look into actually the design, all the details that appears in here. I actually try to be as much descriptive as I can so I can possibly just add those elements here into my actual app. I'm going to make this a little bit more smaller like this and there we go. So here into this part of my document I want to send this one into the backside and here I want to add a text and here I want to explain what is the main uh, purpose of this application like uh, find your zodiac relationship or like your match or whatever. So this is the reason why I wanted to like focus into the actual design of the actual dial number two. And lastly, if I wanted to make sure that I wanted to have the UX designed, I don't want to use DALI number two because this is for image generator. I want to use the actual chat DPD. So here into the chat DPD, I'm going to go for create a template for a UX app design about a Zodiac uh, matched. I don't know, something like that. Here into the generate response, just in case this one uh, does not work. So here I'm going to hit into generate, render, generate as. So here's going to be generating me the actual home screen. What you want to do into the home screen uh, should be visually appealing with an attractive background in the app, uh, zodiac sign selection, matching the algorithm. So all of these elements, I want to implement that here into the Figma. And once again, if you don't know how to get started, we can use some templates so we can uh, do this like more easier and the UI design, all of this visual stuff, we can now generate that one by one inside DALI number two. So hopefully this was a very useful video so you can start to really for free creating an application based and using the actual DALI number two. And there's actually so much more applications that I can use and you can use to really for free. We have to make your actual research. This is just an example of how we can get started in a very easy and easy way. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more amazing tools about the Figma, about DALI number two and so on and on. Thank you so much for watching the video once again. See you next time.